I guess the uh, second part of Masters of the Universe Revelation has dropped on Netflix. I dropped days ago. Hell, this article is from November 24th. I mean, Thanksgiving and stuff kind of slowed some stuff down for me. But I didn't know that the, it was coming out then. I didn't care because I ain't going to watch the shit. But then you kind of read the, re the recap and you're like, just, just to kind of confirm, okay, I made the right decision. And yes, I made the right decision not wanting to watch this shit. I'm not going to. You know, uh, basically the headline is Masters of the Universe Revelations Part 2. Once again, sidelines He-Man. Big surprise, big, big surprise, big shock, you know. It goes on, despite numerous deflections from defenders of the He-Man, Tila, bait and switch seen in the first part, Chris Flex, the hero, returned to prominence in the second half of the Rival series. Its official premiere revealed that Kevin Smith and Netflix have continued to sideline the franchise's central protagonist, this time shifting the story's attention to Evelyn. You know, it's like, oh, uh, God. Anyway, basically, there's this part. It's the Skeletor having used the power sword to upgrade himself to his no scale of God form. He first appears in the premiere episode of Part 2, though, in the form of Prince Adam rather than that of that kind of hero. He's unable to transform into, Iron, into, into He Man due to his lack of a power sword. He spends most of the episode in his regular form, only to end the episode by attempting to channel the power of Great School without the necessary conduit, which results in, in his transformation into a Hulk like brute form known as Savage He Man, which is. You know, there's somebody right there that's fucking stupid. But, you know, okay, I, I, I can live with it. I can live with it, you know. But the, the real problem is there's a part, oops, I guess that's a little bit of a giveaway, where uh, Evelyn and uh, Skeletor, or Skeletor God, are going to have sex, basically. They're going to get it on. But Evelyn tells Skel Skeletor God he's going to depower himself, you know, so that they can. So he does... She steals the power and becomes this right here. Look at this. Look at these fucking huge muscles. It's, oh, got to, got to have the little shaved head and all that shit. Oh, look at this shit. Like, what is it about when they want to have a strong woman that they, they, they make her basically look like a man? She's got these huge rippling muscles and everything. It's like the strength of a woman is different than the strength of a man. Like, turning, basically saying that, oh, in order for a female, or, for, you know, woman, girl, whatever, to be powerful, she has to look like a man. That's that's actually really sexist. Like, what the hell? You know? I mean, I don't... It, it, it's just... and they, But they keep doing this shit. You see it all the time in, the, in these things. I mean, and of course, in this series, you know, you've got Tila and stuff. But it's like, you know, he, he makes his final return... Or, or He-Man makes his official return in the final episode of, of Part 2. You know, it's like, it's, it's just, look, the thing is, this this show, look, I, I like the animation, look at this shit, this looks really cool. But the whole, the, the fucking show is just stupid. It's fucking dumb. You know, well, well, it may be easy for critics of bounding into the comics to write off this article's assertion that He-Man has been sidelined yet again, whether due to an inherent dislike of the site's reporting or a need to be pedantic by pointing out he technically does visually appear in each episode. It should be noted that this outlet is not the only one to reach his conclusion. You know, there's, there, you know, here's from a me, Mia, Mia, or whatever, site writer, Maharan Abhishek. Not only headlined his reboot declaration that reboot puts He-Man in the back seat. But he noted how they, you know, Tila and Evelyn steal the show in the end, making He-Man more of a supporting character. You know, it's, it's, it's whatever the hell. You know, how even IGN, you know, is more of a participating element. So it's just fucking stupid. You know, there's that little fucking shaved head and shit. You know, it's like, what the fuck? You know? While they have more screen time in part two than in part one, the story still largely belongs to the women who were their sidekicks in the original show. You know? I don't know if you're going to watch this. By all means, if you want, if you feel like you want to watch it or whatever, go for it. I would highly recommend against it, though. You know? Like, I know somebody who, I, like I said before, I couldn't, I stopped watching part one after the whole part with where Adam was saying, you know, I died. And then T was like, but we had to live, or, you know, we had to live with it. It's like, I was done at that point. I'm like, I'm just, that's fucking stupid. You know, 
That, that's the level of discourse that the show provided. No, no thanks. I'm not even going to watch part two. So, I, because of shit like this. Not not just because the whole, oh, they, they you know, sideline he man. just the whole fucking thing just sounds stupid. You know? It just, it just, I understand that they wanted, that, you know, Kevin Smith wanted to do something different than, like, the old, the old series. But at the same time, it's one of those things where you're like, dude, sometimes different isn't better. It's not good. You know? But, I mean, I, you get points for trying, I guess, but the whole, like, with the, you know, again, like the part where I was saying, you know, we had to live with it. That part, that's fucking stupid. There's no defending that. Like, I'm, I'm all for powerful women and all that stuff. That's fine. That is not what something like a powerful, strong woman would say. That's something a fucking evil, narcissistic piece of shit would say. You know, oh, you had, you died, but I suffered and that kind of shit. You know, it's like, what the fuck? Anyway, uh, you know, let, let me know what you think. If you want to watch it, I, I'm not going to watch this piece of shit myself. But uh, thank you very much for watching and have a good one.